another big storm will surely bring it down. I simply don't have the heart, though, to do anything about it. Please, may we get down, Mummy? Yes, darling. Come here, love. Wipe your mouth. Will you get the coats from the cupboard? It's time yes, we went to Mommy. school. Oh, and would you ask Charles about the lawnmower? Ever since it was serviced, I've had trouble with it. The wretched machine won't start. Could it be the sparking plug thing? Well, darling, it's not that serious, is it? Uh, no, of course not. I, uh, uh, I was just thinking about a report I have to finish. I, uh, I have to be off. Oh, all right, I'll get your coat. Oh, by the way, the forecast said showers. In that case, I can be certain of a good day. certain to. Early or late? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, better say late. Oh, love, do light it. I don't think I want it. Here you are. I'll get your briefcase. Last night. That's tonight, Mr. Glover. Oh, yes. Claire, I must finish this report from Mr. Bennett, and it will take almost all day, so see that I am not disturbed by anyone. Would you like me to switch your appointment with Mr. Fox to this afternoon? Oh, yes, uh, Mr. Fox. Uh, no, ask him if he can see me tomorrow morning. Don't worry, I'll see you're not disturbed. Thank you, Claire. Three weeks I was supposed to have, not three days. What's the matter with Pinder or Clay? They're both on assignments. Believe me, Drake, I didn't want to use you, but you're the only man available. Do you recognize him? No. That is Charles Glover. 
Oh, Glover, the authority on China. That's him. I thought he was in the clear. Well, he's not. What's he done? He's defected. Another one, eh? Well, isn't this the man that Sir Alfred Woolens has been hunting down on his witch's broom for the last three months? Yes, we've had him under surveillance. Surveillance? Ah, yes, that's what you call going through his papers, having him watched, having his phone tapped. You sure you wouldn't like me to send down for something for you? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Where is he? Where do I have to go? Well, that I don't know, but I do know where his wife is. And you expect her to follow him? Certainly. They were very close. And she's probably as involved as he is. She's bound to join him. Hmm. She leads me to him. And then what am I supposed to do? Hit him over the head, put him in a sack, and have him freighted back to the foreign office? You will persuade him to return. Persuade him? Ah, yes. Do come back to the old country, Mr. Glover, and get yourself charged under the Official Secrets Act. You can tell him he won't be charged. You can tell him he has nothing to fear, that he'll be left entirely alone. True or false? True. And in the meantime, you can concentrate on Mrs. Glover. Mrs. Paula Glover of 52 Garnet Avenue, Highgate. Oh, yes. I knew it was getting him down. But to go off like this without saying a word to you first. Oh, well, he needed time to think clearly, to detach himself. Now he's ready to discuss it all with me. Well, it, it's all so awfully wuzzy. Oh, I know, and I wouldn't have told you about it but for the children. Now, Mother, stop worrying. I'll only be away a week. Look, I made out a list for you. It's all quite simple. I did a big shop yesterday, and all the basic necessities are in. I've got some lamb in the fridge for today, and there's plenty of potatoes the children can make do with frozen veg. Oh, and Mother, would you find time to collect Robin's shoes for the mending? It's a shop on the corner, and I think he's going to charge his coats at the cleaners. We'd better collect that. He might need it when he comes back. Do you think he'll be able to cope, darling? I'm sorry to think so much of you two. You know, it's so difficult having to rush away like this. Well, Drake, I want to know this. Mother, I'm uh, interfering with the privacy of a citizen. She'll be on her way any time now. Where? She didn't say. Have to make it quick. Well, it'll take a second. Can I give you a hand? No, oh, thanks. That's it. Well, if you're quite finished, I'll be getting these along. All right. Thank you. Any luck, Peter? Oh. We have a job getting your ticket. Plane's full. Uh, she's travelling first. I got you in tourists. So you shouldn't have any trouble keeping out of her way. All right. By the way, you'd better take this. Oh. Well, might be useful. Bring up three bottles of iced lager and uh, one glass, please. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Isn't my husband here? I am sorry. I know nothing. 
nothing about him. I know nothing but what I have told you. But will he be in Stratos tomorrow? I know nothing more. Nothing. A reception? Uh, hello, I'd, I'd uh, like to go to Stratos, please. Stratos, sir? That's on the Albanian border. Oh, yes. Uh, what, what's it like? Uh, it's a very desolate place, sir. Any good hotels? None, I'm afraid. Well, there are hotels. What, sir? That simplifies things. Uh, there is a flight tomorrow. Come this evening? No, sir. Any charter planes? It would be most expensive, sir. Ah, well, leave that to me. I'll speak to the charter people myself. Uh, all right, sir. Just hold on and put you through. It's good for everything. For the heart, the bowels, the lungs, the liver, especially for the liver. The more you drink, the more healthy you will be. <laughs> I expect you are surprised at the strength of my English, but you see, I was very close friend of the British colony in Cyprus. Uh, would you care for a glass of red cinna? No, thank you. <laughs> the cowboy carries two guns, I carry two packs of cards. We could play gin rummy for some small stake to while away the time, say, 20 drachmas a game? I'm reading. <laughs> take a card. I will show you a trick that will astonish you. Please, please, take a card. No? No. Do you like the ladies? I thought you understood English. I love the ladies. The married and the unmarried, the widows and the... I have a very beautiful friend. Perhaps you would like to meet her. After all, you are on holiday, are you not? There's a word to describe you, you know. Incorrigible? Your English is good. I'll give you that. Uh, perhaps you would pay for my red cena. Perhaps I would not. Uh, then perhaps you would lend me 90 drachmas. That's not red cena you're drinking, it's liquid gold. <laughs> my name is Nikos, and I'm always short of money. There is nothing I can do about it whatsoever. It just melts away. I am overindulgent. Ah, look. The ferry has transported a jewel from Corfu. She must be a countrywoman of yours. One can tell by the complexion. Is it true they have such skin because it always rains? It's a doubtful theory. You must go to Ioannina and visit the citadel of Ali Pasha. He was a great tyrant in the time of Byron. I remember that. Feno, Eno, Nagano, Una, Banyo, Amitos. Venga dalla vena, Giria. Banyo. Banyo? I wonder if I can be of assistance. Mimiko here doesn't have very much English. Oh, that's most kind of you. I, I want to know if I can have a bath straight away. Unfortunately, there's only a shower, but I'll see what my fractured Greek can do. I Kiria, Terina Pari, Ena Banyo, Ehete, Zesto, Nero? Βεβαίως το νερό είναι ζεστό. Επίσης, πες σας την κυρία ότι είναι πολύ καθαρό και θα μείνει πολύ ευχαριστημένη, ε. Πατήσεις πόμο, Νίκο. He says that the water is warm, which probably means it's tepid, and he wants me to assure you that the shower is very clean and very efficient, and I can back up that statement. That's most kind of you. Not at all. Are you staying long? I don't know. Well, you're certainly staying tonight, aren't you? Oh, tonight, yes, certainly. And you? I, uh, I'm here indefinitely. Uh, as were the only two English people in the village this evening, I wondered... Uh... Are you sure of that? Well, yes, this is the only hotel. Look, I, I don't wish to presume, but I'd be delighted if you'd take an aperitif with me before dinner. Well, aren't there any more boats today? Uh, no, not today. Are you expecting some? No. Then you'll join me? Well, I don't really feel like... Please? Well... Uh, say, seven, down here? All right, seven. Certainly, there is nothing I can teach you about the ladies. 
I see that you are very sly indeed. And only because I'm getting the urge to teach you a few manners. Well, you should not be jealous of me. I have my little friend. Oh, I must go and see her, by the way. Perhaps we can have another lovely little chat later. All right. Much later. You're planning a tour of you must see the citadel of Ali Pasha. Dio uh, Uza, Barakalo. Not really planning anything. But you are on holiday. Oh, yes, yes, I am. And you? Um, I'm planning to live here for a year or two at least. Live here? Yeah. Yeah, about 15 years ago, I had the misfortune to inherit a small sum of money. Misfortune? Yeah. By the way, my name is Edward Kimball. Mine is Paula, Paula Glover. How do you do? How do you do? How can an inheritance be a misfortune? Well, it, it's only that if one's uh, lazy and likes the sun. Uh, but uh, tell me about yourself. What brings you here? Oh, just needed a break. What are these? Well, they call them Mercedes. Look a bit like rubber. Well, they're uh, octopus. Octopus? You yeah, can't try one. It's a bit chewy, but quite tasty. It goes awfully well with Uzo. I've never been very keen on snails, frogs' legs, and things like that. I'm not the adventurous kind. Oh, come now. You can't say that when you're here all on your own, can you? Mm. Mm. Happy holiday. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I've just been under rather a strain in England. So I had to get away for a break. Uh, look, let's talk about something serious, uh, like dinner. The restaurant next door does a very good dish of grilled barbunia. What? Barbunia, our old friend, the red mullet. It goes down very well here with a, a bottle of chilled Marco. Well, I think you ought to know that... Uh, you are not here to be picked up by a pecunious or impecunious adventurer. It's a monstrous thought. Cheers. Fine specimens. Thank you very much. Small for you, large for me. Restaurants just up here. Now the big rest. Not exactly inhibited, is he? He's very handsome, he knows it. Wasn't he sitting with you when I came into the hotel today? Yes, he was trying to prize a few drachma out of me. Did he succeed? No, but I don't imagine he was deterred. What's the betting he comes over and joins us? Well, it's too late. Here he comes. Get a laugh out of him anyway. So we'll go no more roving so late into the night. I greet you with the words of your famous English poet who died here at Mesolonghi. Spectacular greeting. My name is Nikos. And he's always in need of money. Yes, I am very unfortunate. I must congratulate you on your English. Thank you. How do you do? How do you do? I do not disturb you, my friend. Oh, no, not at all. On the contrary, you uh, entertain us, uh, does he not, Mrs. Glover? Y yes. Yes, of course. Permit me to order a liqueur for you. Oh, thank you. You have some. My fortunes are brighter this evening. Oh, windfall. Uh, windfall? I have not heard this expression before. Uh, unexpected luck. Uh, something for nothing. A windfall? Yeah, I like the feel of this word. Wind for. <laughs> I like the feel of everything tonight. <laughs> Perhaps it's the wine. Ah, yes. When I drink wine, my heart is aflame. You have not danced? No, having seen you, we wouldn't dare. No, I'm very good, am I not? <laughs> Perhaps, if you have no objection, the lady would do me the honor of dancing with me? It's entirely up to the lady. <laughs> really, Nikos, it's most kind of you, but I am rather tired tonight. Yes, I understand. You have traveled. It's very exhausting, especially air travel. Well, the lady may not have come by air. Oh, but she did. She arrived on a ferry that leaves after the plane arrives from Athens. The luggage is marked Athens, and the lady is not bronze, so she cannot have been staying on Corfu, can she? You're the local detective. No, no, no. You misunderstand. No, I cannot bear the thought of discipline. I am an anarchist. Let me entertain you. Here, take a card. Please, take a card. I will astonish you. Very well, then, astonish me. You don't tell me what it is, huh? Now, uh, return the cards to the pack. And uh, shuffle the cards. Yeah? And put them down on the table. Now, I will put my hand under the table and attempt to draw the card through into it. May I see it? 
Certainly. Would you tell the gentleman what was the card you picked? Really, should I? The Ace of Hearts, was it not? Yes. The Ace of Hearts it is. Does that not astonish you? Yes, that's very astonishing. Sorry to have come this way, Mrs. Glover. We must hurry. Hurry? Look, where's my husband? He's not far away. Very close. I went to Athens to meet him. He wasn't there. What is all the mystery? I mean, what's happening? Mrs. Glover, I have my instructions. Instructions from whom? Is he ill? Is that why he hasn't come? Please, let us go to the boat. Huh? We can talk there. Here, read this. He doesn't say why I must go. Oh, he has good reasons. He just couldn't get back today. Uh, you'd better put on something warmer, eh? It will not be too hot on the boat. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Will it take long? Mm, two hours, no more. My boat does good speed. Have you seen my husband? Yes. Is he all right? He is very well. He wishes very much to see you. I was right. I knew I was right. He has heard everything. Stay here. I'll be back. But you must stay here. Kimball! Kimball! a little engine trouble, I'm afraid. I preferred you as the foolish Englishman. And you as the idiot Greek. I intend to take this lady where she wishes to go. Albania. No doubt you do. I will happily come to some arrangement. I'm oh, sorry, nothing doing. Well, that's a pity. Uh, without a silence, sir. Well, Mrs. Glover would hate to travel with a corpse. I would not dream of subjecting her to such an indignity. There is the sea. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, you're too late anyway. Yes, she is. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry, Mrs. Dover, but you can't take that trip tonight. So you did hear. I suppose you supplement your income by spying for the Foreign Office. No, I don't. I'm... I just want to help. Help me? Your husband has no intention of returning to England. Do you know that? My husband wants to see me. That's all I know. And what right have you to try and stop me? Where do you think Nikos is going to take you? I'll tell you. Albania. Once across that border, you'll be on the way to China. I don't believe you. Why didn't your husband meet you in Athens? Why didn't he meet you here? Nikos isn't a messenger boy, you know. He's an agent working for the Albanians and the Chinese. They want your husband. They, they want him for... Propaganda purposes. They've probably been trying to persuade him to get out for weeks. 
This is true. Who's to blame? You are. Spy on him day and night, prying into his affairs. Well, his activities did leave some small room for doubt. Charles is innocent. Oh, he had his ideals. He tried to do something about them. Is that a crime? No, uh, of course not. Mrs. Glover, I'm, I'm not trying to make your life a misery. It's just that I don't think you fully realize the, the sort of people he's dealing with. What sort of people do you represent? Well, they take it a little more seriously. Nikos tried to kill me just now, but that's beside the point. The important question is, do you want to live in China and spend the rest of your life in exile? No, no. You have children, don't you? Well, they're our responsibility. All the more reason why they'll probably find it difficult to forgive you. There is a solution, Mrs. Glover, if you'll help me. It's not too late for your husband to turn back. The newspapers haven't got hold of the story yet, so there's no harm done. If they do get it, it'll be a propaganda picnic for the other side. That's why we want him back right away. Now, I'm asking you to get him here, talk to him, try to persuade him to go back now, and he won't be prosecuted. Whose word have we got for that? I have authority to say it. But will he be spied on, treated like a criminal? Will they leave him in peace? He goes now, it'll be a mark in his favor. Yes, I, I think they'll leave him alone. He might not want to come here, you breathing down his neck. He will, if you refuse to go to him. Suppose they don't let him come. Well, there's always that possibility, but somehow I think they will. They don't want to antagonize him at this stage. They feel pretty sure of him. In any case, I, I don't think you've got much choice, Mrs. Glover, unless you want to spend the rest of your life in exile. Mrs. Glover, the Would you take this to him? You will be seeing him yourself in two hours. I'm not coming. But what can I tell him? How can I explain? You won't have to. It's all in the letter. Then he will lose you. I've asked him to meet me here. You could bring him. Impossible. He won't come back here. He's safe now. It would be better for you also. I must talk to him. Well, come then. Afterwards, if you prefer to come back, I will bring you. I'd rather he came here. You have listened too much to that Englishman. Have you told your husband about him? I've told him all that matters. You know what will happen to your husband if he is ever taken I back? I don't know anything until I've had a chance to talk to him. We may well decide to come back with you. Please? Poor lady, you have been taken in by his lies. The news is dull today. You will buy me a drink? How's the boat? Oh, ship shape. Uh, that's how you say it? You're all set to go then? Yes, very soon. After this drink. Paracalo Uso. Going on your own? No, Mrs. Glover will accompany me. Oh, that's surprising. So perhaps now you will leave her alone, eh? Perhaps. It's a pity things have not worked out well for you here. Yes, pity. And Mrs. Glover will be sorry to see you leave. Why should I do that? This trip must have been expensive for you. Perhaps I can help. Swiss francs, American dollars. She's not going with you. Shall we say 5,000 American dollars? <laughs> you know, Nikos, this is saying, beware of Greeks bearing gifts. This will end badly. I'm doing the right thing. Oh, he'll be back. But Charles? I'll lay off to him. Oh, that's that. Five hours to wait.
get some fresh air. It's a bit hot, isn't it? I'd rather wait. Don't do yourself any good moping about down here. Amika's dummy up some wine and chicken. Let's get up in the mountains for, for an hour or two. Hmm? Charles refuses. Suppose he won't go back to London. I hope he decides to go back. For your sake? What do you mean? Presumably you've got your promotion to think of. No. Funny. I'd say you were a very ambitious man. It's Marco. You liked it before. Do you mind telling me why you brought me here? I thought it better for you and Charles to meet here and away from Nikos. In our own interests? I think so, yes. You mean you want to talk to him on your own? Uh, anything but. I want the two of you to meet without interference. Well, there's always my hotel room. But, of course, we know how easy it is to eavesdrop on that. Well, without the eavesdropping, you'd be halfway to China by now. I think I'd better come back to the village with you. Enough people have taken advantage of Charles already. If you really want to help him, you'll do as I ask. Stay here. Remember, he will have been very persuasive. He will have said anything to convince your wife that you must go back to England. He is your fellow countryman, I know, but he is your enemy. I just want to see my wife. Now, which is her room? I'll show you. No, I'll see her alone. What's the number? Is that room on the right there? Thank you. Is this Mrs. Glover's room? It is. Mr. Glover? Yes. Please come in. Where's my wife? All right, Mr. Glover, I'll take you to her. Oh, look, I don't know who you are, but if you're far away, you've either got to trust me or you don't see her. It's up to you. I was doing what I thought was right. Only a warped mind could imagine that I was being disloyal, but they, they followed me, they tapped my calls, they opened my mail. They never left me alone. Do you want to live in a country like that? Why didn't you tell me you never intended to go back? I didn't have time to think. I had to get away. They were about to arrest me. Now you've made up your mind? Yes. I see. What about the children? Well, I thought my brother could bring them out when we got settled. It's all quite simple, isn't it? Oh, darling, of course it isn't. What you want is terribly important, but... Well, I, I seem to have burnt my boats. But you haven't. Kimball says you can go back. Kimball and Nikos. You know, they're professionals. The kind of chess game. We're the pawns. You and me and the children. Well, then think about the children. I mean, surely we should give them the chance to make their own decisions, to, to grow up among their own people, not among strangers. Kimball makes promises. How do we know they'll be kept? Oh, we don't, I suppose, but... Oh, I have a feeling. I, I believe him. Isn't that what you want to believe? I don't know. Oh, Charles, I, I don't know. <laughs> When you like. Uh, Nikos, I'm not coming with you. 
Don't tell me you have listened to this man. Uh, that's not why I changed my mind. He makes you promises. Kimball did not make my decision for me. I made it. I'm sorry if, uh, if it makes things difficult for you. My friend, don't worry about me. He has told you there won't be any trouble, huh? An Englishman's word. I really am sorry, Nikos. Well, I have lived through other disasters. I will survive this one. When do you leave? Uh, we take the Athens plane from Corfu in the morning. Well, have a good time in Dartmoor. What did he say? Uh, oh, nothing important here. He's gone, that's the main thing. You don't think he'll give up that easily, do you? There's nothing he can do. Oh, by the way, did you tell me you were taking the plane to Athens in the morning? Yes, I did. Good, but we'll be leaving by the flight to Brindisi, which is an hour earlier. Why? Do you think he'll try and stop us? Well, if he doesn't, he's not the man I think he is. Right, first thing in the morning, then. Oh. Amico tells me the ferry hasn't come over from Corfu this morning. Probably Nikos trying to get even. Well, what do we do? You stay here. I'll try and get a boat. Read this. You see?
κυρίω και η κυρία Γκλόβα. Πήγανε τα αυτοκίνητα σου και φύγανε. Πού πήγανε. Πήγανε προ το βουνό. Τι να λέει, τον δρόμο τη Αλβάνια. Αλβάνια. Ναι, ναι, πήγανε τον δρόμο για την Αλβάνια. Let's get on. the Albanian border. You go ahead. I'll catch you up.
No. No, Paula. Come back. Paula. can't do anything. He's dead. But he might not be. We can't just leave him. Charles, we can't. Let her go. But we are here. Well, get out of the way. Cut his shirt. Because, give me your knife. Yes, I will do it. My gun, please. Get back. These men will not miss. Now they will lie. Hey! Stavadiste! Stavadiste! Dieses ist das Ziel in die Quelle davon. Es ist für ihn da bien. Herr Boss! Herr Boss! Hey! Come with us! Come on! We will take you back. situation hasn't changed. I've been on to London and I have their word. Charles Glover? Yes. Would you mind coming with us, please, sir? Oh, just a minute. Who are you, sir? Oh, never mind. It's obviously a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Don't touch it. Not until I've made a phone call. Good job. The idiots are arresting him. Good. But you assured me that they wouldn't. It's the only reason he came back. Well, it worked very well then, didn't it? But you gave me your word. Did I, Drake? You hypocritical. Mm -hmm. 